Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to this webinar. My name is Tomas Arenas, and I serve as the Vice President of Global Marketing at Atacama Bionatural Products. We are a company based in Chile, and we culture Hematococcus pluvialis to produce assassin products for human and animal wellness. I am pleased to be presenting this webinar called Increased Quality and Production, Enhanced Health and Color with Red Meal. First, this will be the outline of the presentation. We will start by understanding what asset sanding is and its unique characteristics. Then we will dive into the latest findings about its effect in animal health. Next, we will introduce Red Meal, a tailored solution by Atacama Bayo to deliver as something health benefits for animals. As the center part of this webinar, we will present the results obtained by our customers with red meal in the shrimp and hen industry. As a closure, we will detail the value proposition of red meal and how its use will mean better yields and profit, as well as our commitment as your business partner. Without further ado, let's begin talking about Assassin. So what is Assassin? Assassin is a carotenoid, the family of yellow, orange, and red organic pigments. Like many carotenoids, Assassin is a lipid soluble pigment. Assassin is produced naturally only by the freshwater microalgae Hematococcus pluvialis. As a response to stress conditions, this microalgae turns into a cyst, where DNA and cell structures are preserving oil rich in assassin. It is said that it can survive up to 40 years in this state until the correct environmental conditions are restored. Assassin is what gives color to flamingos, crustaceans, and salmons. The white flamingos in the picture are eating micro crustaceans and microalgae that are naturally occurring in these lagoons in the middle of the Atacama Desert in Chile. We humans and animals do not produce assassin. And assassin has always been in the natural food chain. Here you can see how assassin is transferred from its source, Hematococcus pluvialis, that can accumulate up to 50,000 ppm of assassin to other animals in the natural food chain. Other sources for us humans or animals have significantly less concentration of it. Just take salmon and you will only find 5 ppm or krill, 120 ppm. Shrimp can have up to 1,200 ppm of assassin. This will be one of the mo two most important slides of this presentation, and it is related to the properties of the assassin molecule. Its extended chain of conjugated double bonds is what makes it an unsurpassable antioxidant. The many available electrons can combat a huge amount of other of free radicals. The assassin molecule, molecule can take different geometrical arrangements. It is called a chiral molecule. Something is chiral if you can distinguish it from its mirror image. Think about your hands and the reflections in the mirror. On each side of the molecule, there's an asymmetric carbon marked in blue attached to OH groups, which can be projected either below the plane or above the plane. Then there will be three configurations for ascending called enantiomers. Now let's take a look at the image on the right, which is a representation of how chiral molecules interact with chiral receptors inside the organism. Most substances relevant to biology are chiral. I'm talking about carbohydrates, amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins, and nucleic acids. We humans and animals that consume a chiral compound, such as astaxanthin, usually will be able to metabolize only one of its enantiomers. For the same reason, different enantiomers usually have vastly different potencies or effects, just as the left hand interact differently with a left or a right hand glove. This will be the second most important slide related to the unique characteristics of assassin. There's a fascinating property which makes assassin the ultimate protector against free radicals and explains why its consumption generates so many health benefits over the body. And it is its unique cell membrane protection. Its polar ends and hydrophobic body allows it to permeate and span the cellular membrane as can be seen in the picture. 
protecting the cell from outer and inner oxidative activity. Other compounds will say either inside or outside. You can see representations of uh, beta carotene, vitamin C, and vitamin E that do not share this characteristic. Beta carotene will only stay inside the membrane because it's water soluble. Vitamin C cannot even get inside the membrane. And vitamin E will quote unquote hang from one side, but not span the whole membrane and thus not being able to protect uh, from outside and inside at the same time. Knowing that astaxanthin is a wonderful antioxidant, uh, unique in, in its category, it must be noted that not, not all sources of astaxanthin are equal. In this table, we summarize the differences between natural astaxanthin from Hematococcus pluvialis against the one derived from uh, GMO yeast fafia and synthetic astaxanthin, which is made out of, out of petrochemicals. First and foremost, chirality is different. Remember that different enantiomers will have vastly different potencies or effects, and one should not discard potential harmful effects of molecules that are alien to the natural food chain. Second, astaxanthin from microalgae comes naturally with a set of supporting carotenoids, which are beneficial by themselves. All the sources do not have this. Then we have esterification, which means that a molecule can, can come with fatty acids attached to its ends. An esterified molecule, such as astaxanthin, is more stable and will reach its destination with minimum degradation. Free molecules are less stable and more prone to degradation. Finally, the antioxidant effect, which is measured uh, by two tests, the singlet oxygen quenching test and the free radical scavenging test, show a significant, um, um, a higher effect uh, for uh, astaxanthin from uh, Hematococcus pluvialis. Um, it can be up to 20 times stronger in, stronger in the free radical elimination test and 50 times stronger in the singlet oxygen quenching test as compared to the synthetic source. All that said, how much is microalgae uh, from astaxanthin, I mean, astaxanthin from microalgae used in the feed industry as for today? Well, almost nothing. There had not been an industrial scale producer and supplier of Hematococcus astaxanthin that could offer a cost effective product. In consequence, astaxanthin supplementation has been historically dominated by the synthetic version of the carotenoid, which can achieve pigmentation but uh, there's no compelling evidence related to any health benefits. We noted this as an opportunity, and we decided to bridge this gap and make microalgal astaxanthin a real alternative for animal nutrition. This brought us to study the topic in deep. Uh, in the following slides, I will summarize what science says about the effects of natural astaxanthin as an animal feed. In recent years, a wide range of benefits of Hematococcus pluvialis astaxanthin has been demonstrated. Across species, the effects that are reported are an increase of reproduction rate, growth rate, survival rate, better immunity, better stress tolerance, and considerably better pigmentation for some specific species. This evidence is very compelling, and it was this scientific support that led us to create red meal a whole microalgae meal, rich in astaxanthin, that is starting to disrupt the market. I will uh, now touch on the specific effects that have been reported for different uh, animals. For aquaculture, uh, particularly for shrimp and fish, uh, an, an increased antioxidant capacity activity in the, in the body has been reported, as well as uh, stress alleviation, better reproduction and blood quality, and disease resistance. In farm animals, uh, better egg quality, an increase of uh, laying hens productivity, and an extension of its productive time span, an overall health improvement, and better meat acceptance by final consumers because of its appearance. Even for pets, supplementing of uh, natural astaxanthin can help with treatments for arthritis, allergies, cancer prevention and, th and therapy, and as well as uh, um, treatment of cough, cognitive dysfunction. It can help mitigate inflammatory processes 
and heightens humoral and cell-mediated immune responses. And then we come uh, to a, a special category uh, with some species that can take advantage of natural assessing and its characteristics to get a considerably better pigmentation. I'm talking like about uh, crustaceans like the white-tailed shrimp, um, fish like sea bream, yellowtail, and rainbow trout, some ornamental uh, fish, and egg yolks. We have selected an article by uh, Mr. Martin Waring, who is an expert in aqua nutrition uh, with more than 25 years of experience on feed formulation and production, as well as with feed additives. Uh, the article titled is Hematococcus assassantin. Is it time to rethink assassantin use in white shrimp feeds? The um, article was published in the Aqua Culture Age Pacific uh, magazine in 2019. The first takeaway is that natural pigmentation is better. And it reads, in both shrimp and red sea bream and related species, alcohol assassantin has demonstrated superior biological and pigmentation properties versus the synthetic pigment. So one relevant point that is addressed is the performance of both sources uh, for pigmentation, which would be the baseline for comparison. In this aspect, the article reads, Vaname shrimp fed levels as low as 25 ppm hematococcus assassantin improved significantly the pigmentation, which was superior to shrimp fed 150 ppm of synthetic assassantin, suggesting that hematococcus assassantin was at least six folds more efficient. In the picture here, you can clearly see that synthetic assassantin diets after 150 ppm, the one here on the left, do not achieve even the first level of pigmentation with natural assessanting, with only 25 ppm. Apart from comparing uh, pigmentation capabilities, the article also dives into the differences in health benefits. Natural assessanting is shown to have a superior anti-stress and disease resistance properties. Um, he cites uh, two other articles where a higher survival in monogam shrimp, better resistance to low salinity stress are, are reported. Also another interesting finding is, is related to improve uh, um, deposition uh, in shrimp of assassinate, as you can see in the, in, in the chart here. On average, doubling the deposition when using synth synthetic. Some remarkable conclusions uh, of these articles are the following. While the Vanamai shrimp largely dominates the world uh, shrimp farming production, the industry does not use synthetic, synthetic assassinating due to its reported poor efficiency. An increased supplies of uh, hematococcus assassinating at more competitive prices could see the situation change dr drastically. The use of uh, hematococcus assassinating could, could help seek better prices because of its superior biological efficacy health benefits, as well as an improved marketability of um, as a, um, natural fed shrimp. Now, after all this compelling evidence, evidence backing the health uh, benefits of fast hunting in animals, let me introduce you to Red Meal, Atacama Bio natural uh, product solution to incorporate natural assessing in animal nutrition. Well, Red Meal is a whole microalgae meal that contains all the natural elements of the, the Hematococcus pluvialis biofactory. It has, of course, assassantin and supporting carotenoids. It has energy in the form of fat, proteins, carbohydrates, essential fatty acids, 10 vitamins, 18 amino acids, nine, nine of them essential, nucleotides, and minerals. Now, uh, we have two versatile presentations that allows you to incorporate red, red meal in your feed while offering uh, a stable shelf, shelf life of 48 months. We have uh, red meal powder at a concentration of 1.5 uh, total carotenoid uh, um, concentration, which is uh, micro, micro encapsulated um, ruptured hematococcus pluvialis cysts. And we also have red meal oil also at 1.5 uh, total carotenoids concentration, 
which are ruptured uh, hematocrus pluvial cysts in a vegetal, vegetable oil medium. In this section, I will present some results reported by our customers that are currently using red meal in, in their processes. The first experience is with uh, uh, Vaname shrimp, white leg shrimp. Some key points on the global market uh, are the following. Farm and wild caught shrimp are valued, uh, the, mar the global market are, is valued at about $40 billion. And out of it, an outstanding 35% accounts for white leg shrimp. The profit drivers here are survival, stress and resist uh, resistance, and of course, color. We will share some empirical results of industrial scale uh, experiences in, in Thailand and in India. Our customers have been using red meal in their production line and all the effects here are not exactly quantitative, but uh, more from an expert eye appreciation. So first, um, the brute stock stage of Vaname shrimp. In this picture, you can see a very dark shrimp. The carapace color denotes acesanthine absorption. This is due to the high affinity between the natural acesanthine and antimer and it's the tissue proteins, specifically crustacean. Then, wounds related to clashing when transported or transferred are minimized and easily healed thanks to an active immune system. There is a reported overall improved health um, due to the, uh, the antioxidant, antioxidant effect, effect of acesanthine and its protection at a cellular level. They also report active mating and improved egg quality and quantity. Now in the larvae and post larvae stage, they report uh, vigorous activity, uh, noticeable lipids in a large dark hepatopancreas, uh, as you can see here in the picture on the right. The hepatopancreas can, can be seen here, a sign of, uh, of being, the animal being healthy and excellent rear axis. Well, all of these, as I said, are signs of uh, healthy animals, which is an effect of the supplementation. Then at the nursery stage, um, there are some several, there are some several stressors uh, like the environmental changes. So, um, and exposure to disease. As a something, improve the stress resistance and survival rate in this stage, up to 90% at PL37. Finally, uh, commercial shrimp can achieve 27 or over in the color fan after cooked. And this is explained again by the affinity of natural acesanthine and antium. And this is an improvement that will mean better selling prices. A red meal is versatile to prepare feed for agriculture. It can be used as a premix or make it as an ad use it as an additive in finished meal for pellets as a rotifer enrichment or in self-prepared meals with egg custard or, or fish. Now, uh, the second experience we want to share with you is with the free range laying hands. There's an important trend in gl the global egg market that is moving actually away from cages altogether. It is said that, uh, that uh, it, it, the global market it's trending to be uh, free of, of, of cages. And starting 2027, the poultry in, in cages will be banned in the European Union. And in Asia, this is pre predicted to, ha to happen by 2025. In here, the profit drivers are survival, laying rate, productive life, and yolk color. Uh, the results we want to share here are what a local expert in Chile did um, to, he wanted to test red meal for yolk pigmentation. He wanted to go at least, uh, to reach at least uh, color 12 in the DSM fan for yolks, which is the local free range standard. Um, 100 highline, highline um, hens were used with a free range regimen and the experiment was run for a 36 day period. Uh, the baseline was the use of cantasantin, which is, was synthetic and, and, the, um, and the person here wanted to move away from synthetic products. And also he could not achieve any result better than 12 
and the color fan. Okay, so th three tests were performed. Um, red meal oil mixed uh, in the feed at three and six ppm, then red meal powder in the drinking water lines at 4.5 ppm, and finally red meal powder in the feed again at six and eight ppm, but with used oil, and then eight ppm with virgin oil. And this were the results. Uh, first test, test A, red meal oil mixed in the uh, directly with feed. After 36 days, um, with uh, 3 ppm, 3, 3 ppm uh, color 11 was achieved. And at 6 ppm, color 12 was achieved. So this, this very first test uh, did actually get into the objective. Then test B was uh, the use of red meal powder in the bird drinkers at 4.5 ppm. And after 36 days, half of the yolks uh, reached color 12 and the other half reached color 13. That was over the objective. And some notes here, um, there were fast results. Uh, in a couple of days, the, 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 um, the color of the yolks started changing, but the use of the product in the drinking lines ended up decanting and obstructing the nostrils. Finally, uh, test uh, C was divided in two. Uh, the first part was with um, um, using um, reused oil and at two concentrations. So at 6 ppm after the 36 days uh, period, 20% of the eggs reached color 12 and 80% color 13. And at 8 ppm, 40 of them uh, achieved color 13 and 60 of them color 14, which is the highest um, color achieved yet. And then an extra test was run, uh, but using uh, virgin soybean oil to dilute um, red milk powder and at 8 ppm. So um, there's a, a more detailed timeline here. At day 7, 80% of the eggs are achieved color 13 and 20 color 14. At day 13, 40% achieved color 13 and the rest color 14. And at day 36, 20% was at still at color 13 and then 80 at color 14. These were the best results achieved. And you can see that the um, uh, color 14 was achieved even uh, at the very beginning of the test. Some observations and takeaways. Uh, the best results are obtained with red meal, either powder or oil, pre-mixed with oil, and then that uh, mixed with the dry, dry food. There's um, um, a situation here of, uh, of um, uh, the alternative of using recycled oil, which is uh, more, it's less costly, but the use of virgin oil achieved uh, better results. Then very importantly here, the fit mix that was done with the red meal was kept at, at 18 uh, uh, degrees Celsius in closed containers and under the shade. And this showed no degradation after three weeks. Some pictures uh, to um, have a detail on how the feed was prepared. So red meal, either oil or powder, was premixed with uh, some other oil, uh, either reused or virgin, and then that mixture was added to the dry feed. And this uh, this is how it looks like when it's uh, when it's finished. As for the experiment with the drinking lines, uh, red meal was dispersed dispersed in a small container with water and then add it to the bucket uh, with the drinking water uh, that went to the drinking lights for, for the hands. Some other effects reported, and this is very interesting here. Uh, this was not part of the experiment and all of this came along the better results of pigmentation of the eggs. The productive life of the hands increased from 10 to 20%. All the supplemented hens survived until week 105 without any medication. And please consider that the reference mortality rate is 6.6% at 90 weeks. The laying rate increased up to 2%. And there was a reported improved general health, including better resistance to the thermal stress. In the pictures here, you can see a sick hen with an abscess that was uh, expected to die. 
but just recover uh, without any treatment, only with the supplementation of Asosan. So, how is it that uh, red meal can make your own business more profitable? Better health, more profit. Uh, when you enhance health and color, you can obtain an increased quality and production. You'll get more eggs and better eggs. You ha will have a higher survival, survival rate, improved growth and body weight, and enhanced immune system, which means a disease and stress resistance. Overall, healthier animals and red meal can be considered as a multifunctional product that can replace other ingredients or supplements. On top of that, um, there are plenty of opportunities for further differentiation. You can um, aim for a superior market value, addressing the public concern about synthetic and GMO products, having no doubts about product safety for animals and consumers, and getting into a premium status, uh, better pigmentation, improved, fle uh, improved flesh and skin quality. This is sustainable and a natural ingredient that can claim product traceability as well. At Atacama Bio, we establish partnerships for mutual cooperation and help our clients develop the solutions they need. So what do we offer? We offer a science-driven, long-term supported collaboration. We are certified, we uh, have a sustainable process, closer to nature, and we are able to supply all, the, all uh, meet your, your supply needs in a dependable way. We'll have competitive prices now and in the long run. Thank you everyone for your attention and please contact us for more information using our virtual booth at VeganEct. Have an excellent day and goodbye. Day to everyone. Um, <clears throat> I am Patricia Hidalgo. I am technical sales specialist um, from Atacama Bionatural. And I will go through uh, some of the questions that were written in the chat. And we'll give you the answers that we can manage. First, <clears throat> the first question that we have present here says, when you sit on polyfet, the color turns red and also the white turns yellow. Is there anything that can be white to white and red to darker red? Well, we don't have a special experiences with the fish, but um, the, the most probable assumption is that you have a, a problem with the doses, the astaxanthin that you're using. Uh, for example, in human beings, when you use uh, or when you take much astaxanthin, uh, the color of your skin starts turning uh, orange. So the same could happen with the with the koi fish. If your dosis is too high, uh, it might be the, the reason that why your uh, white parts are turning yellow. Okay, then uh, what is the recommended dosage for shrimp? How can the effect of natural extensity on shrimp be appreciated with the naked eye? Um, for the dosage, okay, um, in our experience, especially with banamay shrimp, um, we have different dosage uh, for the different stages, and in not all species uh, is the same dosage. So you have to go uh, adapting and improving the dosage to uh, every development stage. For example, for banamay shrimp, 
in the nursery stage, we use from three to five uh, grams per kilogram of feed. Uh, in the broadstock stage, we use 40 grams of uh, per kilogram of feed of red meal. And in the um, growing stages, we use three to five uh, grams per kilogram of feed during the last 15 days before the harvest. So again, there is no one dosage that could be um, good for everything. You have to go um, or to start trying a different dosage with the species when I use it. And it could also be um, affected by the other components or, or the other ingredients of the fed that you're producing or using. Next question says, in your research, does red meal has better antioxidant effects compared to synthetic ones? In summary, how many uh, US dollars can be saved when using these products? Uh, well, uh, we haven't uh, from just directly comparing our extracentin products to synthetic extracentin. In literature, it has been proved and it said that uh, natural extracentin has a much better um, performance and antioxidant effects than synthetic extracentin. And it can be uh, seen in better sub uh, survival rates, in improving growth. Uh, effects are going to um, change depending on the species that we are using it. But the effect that is like um, that applies to all species in general is that you get a better uh, immune system and overall their health, the animals. Now, regarding the how many uh, dollars you save or how much, how much money do you save, uh, again, it's going to depend on the um, animal that you're using, the, the fed that, you, that you're using, the concentrations. Okay, uh, for example, if we want to use um, a fed concentration with 50 ppm of total carotenoids, it's going to have a cost uh, around 215 US dollars per ton of feed. In the experiments that we perform with the hens, we use 8 ppms. Uh, per um, ton, so the cost was approximately thirty-four dollars, and you have to compare that with the prices of the product that you are using. In the case, in the particular case of the hens, it was being used a uh, cantaxanthin, synthetic cantaxanthin, and uh, our product was between the price range of the product. Next question says, what are the contraindications of extracentin and does it have any incompatibility with other ingredients? Well, uh, let me start saying that extracentin till now has no um, contraindication, has no any negative um, health issues, okay? It doesn't affect health in bad ways. It only affects in good ways. Uh, today, and despite long years of being used in different species, no contraindications, no contraindications have been reported. Uh, the consumption of uh, pigment or the enrichment products with natural extracentins also implies that uh, the final consumer uh, also gets a part of that. Uh, so in the case of the human being, we eat um, shrimp or some that has been uh, cemented with natural extracentin. The final consumption, the, the, the final consumer also gets a, a, a small dosis of extracentin. Uh, even uh, extracentin is the 
only uh, or natural extensantin, especially from microalgae, is the only uh, extensantin that has always been part of the food chain. It is responsible for the natural color of wild salmon. Uh, it's also responsible for the um, uh, color of flamingos and other species. Mm -hmm. um, Well, and, and regarding the second uh, part of the question about if it has any incompatibility with other ingredients, till now and despite uh, all these years that we've been using and, and that different studies have been uh, carrying out, this is natural extasantin. Uh, there is no information of contraindications with other ingredients. It says, uh, Another question says, how long does the product last and which is more stable, powder or oil? Uh, for our products, you keep it in, in the original uh, package, sealed, in storage under the room temperature with no suns, um, uh, with no exposure to the sun. We ensure at least two years of uh, stability of the product. And there is no difference in this regard between the powder and, and the oil. Both format, we ensure that it lasts for two years. Now, if you open the package and you use it, there, there is a, a, there's different factors that affect the stability and how long the uh, active component, the extensantin will be present and available to be used. Uh, for our experiences, uh, when we use it to um, feed the hens, uh, uh, all the food was mixed at the beginning. It was storage at room temperature in a small room uh, away from sunlight, and it lasted for three weeks without any noticeable alteration or, or of the food or in the results of the, of the study. It says, in which other species can this product be used? Well, it, it actually can be used in all species, okay? We, we firmly believe that it can be used in any uh, animal species. It actually covered in the market uh, is mostly used in agriculture, especially for shrimp, where there are some species where synthetic, synthetic extasantin has no any effects. Uh, there is also use in fish, especially in, in salmon and in truth, in, in uh, particularly uh, to uh, feed or, or to supply certain uh, specific markets where the, um, uh, the certification that uh, no synthetic products have been used with the fish is important. Now we have a, a right now there are uh, different industries and markets that are being really uh, interested in using our product, particularly uh, in the poultry for the coloring of eggs, uh, the health industry for domestic pets, particularly for dogs and cats. Uh, also for uh, competition animals like horses and, and, and some dogs, uh, particularly because the anti oxidant effects of extasantin helps uh, for a better recovery for the muscles and to exercise in general. Uh, there is also um, a growing market for uh, human consumption. Mm -hmm. um, in general, it's important to know that regardless of the um, species in which it's used, there are some common effects that are uh, applied to everybody. And those are a, a, a better overall health and a stronger immune system. Then the next question says, how do you produce your extasantin? Well, uh, our company is located in the northern, in the north of Chile, in the Atacama Desert, which is the uh, driest desert in the world. We have 
existing conditions were away from any cultural uh, uh, ag agricultural uh, locations, were away from cities, were away actually from everything. Um, we have a um, system of cultivation through open ponds. We try to uh, apply, um, or, or we don't try, we, we apply a system that resembles uh, how Axtasantin and especially how uh, Matacutus pluvialis, it is um, growing nature. Uh, what is the cost of red meal? Well, uh, it depends on the format and the amounts of product that you want. So uh, if you are interested, you can contact me directly or uh, to, through our web page, you can contact us and we can have a, a, a talk to give you a more specific price and actually to support and give you information about uh, how to use the product and, and in which patches uh, or, or how can you use it for, for your special application. Next question says, what is the production capacity of Atacama Bio? Well, uh, currently we are able to produce up to 40 metric tons a year and uh, the demand increase uh, between a year, we could be able to uh, duplicate that amount by expanding our production line. Next product says, how to use red meal to achieve nutted broiler, shank, and skin color to color fine 13 or 14. How many ppm to combine uses with drill equipment? Well, <clears throat> We, um, during the last year, we found several tests uh, with uh, high line brown uh, line hens, and our best results were obtained using 8 p.m. of red meal, mix it with oil, uh, with oil, sorry, uh, mix it with oil, and then this oil, uh, as the um, uh, it is mixed with the rest of the grain. If you go back, or, or if you can go back to uh, some of the, uh, a part of the video that was pr uh, present before, and there you can see some picture of how this product, uh, it is being mixed. Uh, using this 8 ppm, we reach an 80% of the eggs uh, with, the, with the 14 in the fan color, 20% of the eggs, uh, reach 13 in the um, in the uh, DSM fan color. Uh, it is also important to notice that the best results are obtained using uh, virgin oil, uh, not uh, uh, not a uh, used oil as the fat of the food. Okay, I, I think those are all the questions that I have till now. Uh, if you have more questions, please go ahead, or if something it wasn't clear enough, you can ask again. If you have uh, further questions, you can type uh, the questions in the link of this video during the um, uh, during the BConnect program. We can answer your questions later. I'm gonna leave my email in the chat so you can write me an email and I will gladly answer any question you have uh, or if you want a, a more detailed information about the, the topic that we have we have talked. 